Hi, I'm Raven French with the Red Carpet Report, and we are here in Beverly Hills at the Paley Center with How to Get Away with Murder. Are you? Good, how are Thank you? you for joining us. Of course. What's your name? Raven. Raven Conrad. Yes. Nice yes, to meet you. Conrad. So it is the end of the season. It was a great ride. Glad that you made it along all the way to the end. I know. I survived. I wasn't murdered, so that's good. And speaking of murder, I've been asking everyone, so now I'm just curious. Yeah. Did you have a favorite murder? Oh, gosh. Or uh, cover up? Yeah. I mean,. <laughs> It had to be the, 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 he wasn't murdered, but he almost was murdered when Simon Drake uh, was slipped on the, on the chair and shot himself under, with a gun that Laurel brought to the office and then the cover up. I mean, it was just so complicated and I, dealing with the guilt of covering that up and I mean, it's, it, that's what you dream about as an actor is is being given these multi-layered storylines to play out uh so you know as an observer it probably is like you know we we're dealing with characters that aren't you know black or white there's so much gray area with their like their conscience and how are they good are they bad is anybody actually really good or bad or are we a lot in the gray area uh, so I liked being able to be a part of that. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like it's a thin line between good and bad or one or the I other? I think so. I think that, you know, that every, all of us have the potential for the best in human behavior and the worst in human behavior. And uh, it just kind of like depends on the choices that you make. And after, if you've made a bad choice, if you try to redeem yourself in any way, and these characters have so far to go to redeem themselves. Right now they're just in survival mode, trying to get away from the FBI and trying to survive everything that they've done. So we'll see, maybe the spinoff will be how they redeem themselves and right. <laughs> all their charity work that they do in the spinoff. <laughs> Do you have a guess on who we're, who's going to be murdered in the end? I mean, I have a guess, and it's an educated guess, but, you know, I don't want to say it because that's the whole... I, that's the funny thing. Shondaland, like, they build up... They, we can't say anything. Yeah, I have total trust issues now. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, Shondaland hinges on the, the cliffhangers, so if we gave that away, then it wouldn't. the show wouldn't be the same. You know, they, they build up the suspense. That's that's the whole part, the whole part of the show. So yeah, yeah, it really can be any person. Yeah, yeah. Even if you, even if you think you know because of what we've shown you, they can then go back and be like, actually, we weren't telling you the whole story, and here's why this person is now murdered or the murderer or whatever. Yeah. Any plans for you coming up or anything we're going to see you in soon? Uh, yeah, I just closed a musical in New York called Soft Power uh, that was written by David Henry Huang, who wrote M. Butterfly, and uh, Janine Sasori, who wrote Fun Home, and Carolina Change, uh, and that's there's a possible Broadway run coming for that show. Um, I'm developing a TV show with three friends uh, called No Rice. That's about three gay Asian men uh, dating in New York City and uh, trying to navigate the, you know, the challenges and the racism that they encounter. Um, and that's far along in development, so that's coming up soon. Nice, he sings and he writes. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, right. please uh, look out for him. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. I look forward to watching. I hope it's not you or I, I don't even know what to think. <laughs> I know. You never know. You never know who you're going to be rooting for because something could be revealed about the person that you were rooting for that makes you think, oh, you are not a good person. So, this is so true. Now I'm yeah. scared. Now I'm yeah, scared. Yeah. That's a good place to be. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. You. Have a good day. Hi. Thank you for watching The Paley Center Presents How to Get Away with Murder. I am Raven French with the Red Copper Report. Don't forget to subscribe.